nuclear attack on India. It is clear that the neighboring country has many dangerous intentions. The world community has time and again expressed its concern about Pakistan's nuclear arsenal falling into the hands of terrorists. Also, Pakistan's record of non-proliferation is poor. Safety of nuclear bombs. It is no secret that A.Q. Khan, father of Pakistan's atom bomb, was involved in the nuclear black market. Just a few days ago, the Afghan army had tweeted that ISIS is planning to acquire an atom bomb within a year. About a year ago, the ISIS mouthpiece had said that it could obtain a nuclear bomb from Pakistan. North Korea and Pakistan, partners in proliferation. The whole world is currently apprehensive about North Korea's dictator and the country's nuclear program. And recently, newspaper, The Sunday Guardian, made a startling revelation that the nuke tested by North Korea in recent times were all actually made by Pakistan. The disclosure brought to the fore the surreptitious partnership between the two nations. The newspaper has claimed that the exchange of technical know-how has been going on since 1970, but the activities gathered pace after the 1998 nuclear test by Pakistan. This presents the international community with its biggest challenge to non-proliferation efforts as yet, reigning in Pakistan to stop the spread of fissile technology to rogue nations and taking steps to prevent the nukes from falling into terrorist hands. News Night Desk, DD News. Well, so this raises the big question, which will come up on your screen in just a minute. This is the big question. Is Pakistan the biggest threat to nuclear non-proliferation efforts? And to answer that and other questions we have with us in the studio, Mr. G. Parthasarthi, well-known security affairs analyst, former Indian High Commissioner to Pakistan. Thank you very much, sir, for being with us. Uh, so in India's stinging reply, India has said that Pakistan's fingerprints are on active nuclear proliferation. How much active nuclear proliferation do you think is taking place? Well, it has a, his a track record. Uh, for example, they did for, for, uh, transfer nuclear weapons designs to Libya. Uh, and those designs, in fact, re were handed over by Libya to the IAEA. Okay. And incidentally, those design manuals were in Chinese. So quite obviously, nuclear weapons designs that Pakistan had received from China. Uh, they have uh, had a, a similar relationship of transferring enrichment technology to Iran. Right. Uh, for their nuclear weapons program uh, and uh, therefore this this go is extensive uh, finally comes the North Korean connection sure. uh, the fact of the matter is that North Korea and Pakistan had a nuclear uh, missiles for nuclear weapons deal under which before the Chinese started supplying missiles mm -hmm. North Korea supplied what was called as their Nodong uh, missiles liquid fuel to Pakistan uh, they're called Gauri in the Pakistani Okay. Uh, lexicon in the in the by used in their strategic forces command in return uh, and this deal was struck during I think the visit of Benazir Bhutto and thereafter a visit by uh, General Jahangir Karamat in the 90s uh, to North Korea okay Pakistan provided uh, the technology for uranium enrichment to North Korea right so, so there sure. is, Pakistan has a this track record of transferring nuclear weapons technology and it's landed them in deep trouble and it's also stolen the technology if we know the AQ Khan apparently uh, was convicted in 1983 uh, for stealing centrifuge blueprints from uh, yes from I, I the mean Netherlands. They, 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 the <coughs> entire Pakistan nuclear enrichment program started with AQ Khan stealing the designs from the Urenco plant in Holland right of uranium enrichment and taking them to Pakistan so the, it started with theft but more importantly, what, what has been the impact of this? The impact has been that while, because of India's good proliferation record, yes. global sanctions against us ended even after we conducted a nuclear test. Meaning we did not sign the nuclear non-proliferation right. treaty, we conducted a nuclear test. But despite that, global sanctions ended, starting with the Indo-US nuclear deal, because India has a spotless record on non-proliferation. Non we have not given technologies, and nor right. have we acquired ours as an entirely indigenous program. Sure. So um, 
Pakistan still thinks it can indulge in nuclear blackmail. Okay. So it threatens the world that unless they get relief like India, bombs can fall into the wrong hands and so on. The real concern today is uh, not that Pakistan will could willingly transfer. There is also the concern that how safe is their nuclear arsenal? Absolutely. Many of their nuclear scientists, I remember one was Sultan Bashiruddin Mahmood and one other nuclear scientist were indicted by the Americans for trying to transfer nuclear technology to Osama bin Laden and the Al-Qaeda. Okay. So there is a large Islamist element sure. with radical Islamist leanings in the Pakistan nuclear weapons program uh, which has indulged in these things. This is why the two most nations most distrusted in the world okay. with uh, the safekeeping of nuclear technology sure. are Pakistan and North Korea. So when, when we look at this threat now, and the Islamist threat, and we see that ISIS has uh, talked about in its mouthpiece about a year mm -hmm. ago that they were wanting to acquire nuclear weapons, and we also know that Pakistan at some stage in the past did say that you know the Christians have a weapon or have a nuclear bomb, the Jews have one, the Hindus have one, yeah. and now the Muslims need to have the, one. That famous statement yeah, was made by Zulfikar Ali Bhutto Absolutely. So in his memoirs, <coughs> where he said the Hindus, uh, the the Christian civilization has a bomb, the Jewish civilization has a bomb, the Hindu civilization has a bomb. He didn't say the Chinese Confucian civilization has a bomb, but uh, he, he did say the Islamic civilization that does not have a bomb, right. that is going to change. Because Bhutto know, knew when he was, this was written when he was in jail, because he had initiated the program. With Chinese assistance, they were close to making the bomb by the time he was, assassin he was executed or assassinated. Right. So do you think that Pakistan, I mean, let's say, now they've even talked about smaller tactical uh, uh, no, nuclear no, see, weapons, which they, can be used in, in, in yeah, the, you know, the, by, the, by, the, by, the by main the culprits in this are China. Right. For tactical nuclear weapons, you need plutonium weapons. The entire plutonium production facilities, the reprocessing <laughs> facilities, have been transferred by China to Pakistan over the last 15 years. <coughs> and the plants making these are located in central Punjab in a place called, uh, two places called Kushab and Fatehjang. Okay. <coughs> they are all Chinese supplied and they have got the plutonium for tactical nuclear weapons from China. I mean the facilities sure. to produce them, yes. From and China. What, what do you think would be the size of this arsenal and uh, how, I mean of the stockpile and uh, can they actually reach the, you know the, 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 the big threat for world peace is that this falls into the hands of uh, the terrorists who are well, actually operating uh, from right, Pakistani look, soil. They had a very good nuclear command authority. I must you must give them credit where it okay. is due, uh, headed by General Khalid Kidwai. He worked with the Americans and they devised systems of which, uh, which were interlocked and nobody could just steal a weapon and blow, blow up the world. Um, Kidwai has now retired. I don't know how, uh, and he was, he was basically a Muhajir from India who okay. went there and was our prisoner in 1971. Uh, the, uh, I, I don't know how the new nuclear command structure works, but certainly the Americans have spent hundreds of millions of dollars to give them systems which ensures that their nuclear weapons don't fall into wrong hands. Okay. But uh, you can never say, especially when it comes down to the tactical level. Sure. And uh, when there's talk of escalation, and you know Pakistan still says that uh, they, there's no fear in you, I mean they could actually use the nuclear weapon, uh, in that sense, uh, you know, when a country talks like this, yeah. is it actually prepared for a nuclear Look, kind this, of conflict? Look, this, this, this stupid statement was made by a stupid defense minister uh, who is a defense minister only in name. The army chief does not call on him. He calls on the army chief. Right. Uh, the army chief does not report to him. He has no knowledge of defense. He looks after the uh, Pakistan International Alliance. He's there just to report to parliament. The, def the army chiefs and service chiefs report only to the prime minister. And that too, they report only what they please, not everything. So, as Benazir Bhutto found. So, I think um, it remains in the control of the mem of the military. I don't take Khwaja Asif seriously. Okay. He's a joke. Uh, if um, uh, one of the, somebody from the nuclear command authority would right. say that, you take it more seriously. I hope they are as serious as they were when General Kidwai was in charge. Okay. Uh, and therefore, I don't take that seriously, no. But... Yes, they've got good, good safety devices, they have a good command and control structure, but you never know given the political circumstances. Okay. So, do they keep, is it foolproof from misuse in, at the tactical level? We'll have to wait and see. 
We'll leave it there. Thank you very much, Thank Mr. Parthasarthi, for joining us here on Newsnight.